Okay, so now that we have uh, successfully set up Newman on our machine, so let's see if we can run the collections which we have created from the command line, right? So in order to do that, we need few things, right? So there are a few ways of running the collections. Uh, you can directly run your collections from the URL which you can generate or you can export your collections along with the environment variables in order to run that, right? So let's go ahead and look at the collection options, right? So I have already shown you how you can uh, share and export your collection, right? So there is an option called export and there's an option called share, right? So in share, you can share it with a workspace, you can embed it into a page and you can also get a public link, right? So I can use this public link in order to run my collection from Newman, but then I also require the environment variables. Without that, it will fail to run because we are using some environment variables in the collection. Now, if you're not using, you can directly take this and then you can use a command like Newman run and this collection URL, right? So that simple it is. If uh, there are environment variables, I think the best way is to export your collection in JSON format, right? So let's actually first uh, create a folder and I will use that to keep all my uh, collection and environment variables for my Postman API, right? So let's go and create here a folder called GitHub collection or uh, just name it GitHub, right? Okay, so this is the GitHub uh, folder and I want to store or export. So this uh, export option, right? it exports your collection in the JSON format, right? So it will be a JSON file. So go ahead and select that folder and keep your collection in that folder. So this is our folder, right? And save it here, right? So once you save it here, you, it will say your collection was exported successfully. And you can also verify that by going to that folder and it's a JSON file, okay? Similarly, um, I need to also get the environment variables. Without that, it won't run. So what I can do, I can download this environment, right? And save it in the same folder. It will again be a JSON file, right? So environment was exported successfully. So this is how you download and export your environment. So these are the two things which we require in order to run our collection from the command line using Newman. Once you have both your collection and the environment, you can go back to your Newman, right? And you can, you can run this command called Newman run, right? And then you need to um, give the collection name here and you can also give the environment right so it will be the environment name so this is um, this is the kind of command which you need to run in um, use in order to run your collection okay so let's go ahead and do that in our command line so let's try new men run so but before that let's go to that particular folder where we have this particular files right so let's go to cd drive c drive first and then um, we'll go to the github folder so this is our folder we have both the files here, both the JSON files. So now uh, we will use the Newman run command. And here I will use the JSON file, right? So 
postman underscore collection dot json and then i will use the e tag to define the environment or to pass the environment file here right so github dot postman underscore environment dot json okay so this is the com this is the complete command um how you can run your collection along with the environments okay so let's go ahead and see whether this runs or it doesn't run okay it started running uh, it was quick and fast right because it's running from command line and api testing doesn't take a lot of time okay so but as we see there are failures right so um, these are the some only a few tests have passed so this will be the kind of report or um, it will generate in the new man right it will tell you how many iterations you ran um, or whether request requests which executed which failed uh, how many test scripts were executed how many failed pre-request scripts assertions right uh, total run duration data received response time so everything will be shown in this tabular format right and then it will also show you all the failures and the detail the expected reason for the failures right so all will be listed here now looking at the failures you can easily guess what's the problem here right so the uri is probably not correct that's why it is not able to send the request so you can see here it is http then double slash slash user slash repos but we don't have the github endpoint here which is the api.github.com right so what happened so as you can guess the most probable reason is the environment variable which we used was not substituted here on the uri right so let's go back to our postman and have a look here what's the problem now if i go to my environment github let me uh, go back to what we learned during our um, session where we were talking about the environments right managing environments so i told you about the initial value and current value now current value current values for environment variables are not shared across your collections right so if you are exporting or sharing that collection with someone your current values won't be present or won't be available there because these are specific to your workspace and your environment right so they are not synced to the postman service so you cannot get these current values when you are trying to run it from a command line so for that reason we need to also copy all these values into initial value right so how you can do that you can click on this persist all so what it will do it will persisting all the values and it will replace all initial values with the current values of the variables right so both will become same and once we get this initial value we'll have everything across the environment which we export so let's update this and we'll again download or export this particular file so let's say yes here and let's close this now let's go back to a new man and try that command again okay so it has started running now and this time you will notice most of our tests have passed right uh, one test failed which is quite expected because the response time was more than 1000 milliseconds that's why one test failed but remaining all passed right so it will tell you one assertion failed here um, test scripts iterations requests pre-request scripts all are in green only a single assertion failed right so this is how effectively you can run your collections from command line right um you can pass the environment and there are some other options like you can also run your uh, collection with different iterations as well right so if i give this iteration as two using this n tag 
it will run two iterations. So it, you will see there is iteration one by two, and then there will be iteration two by two, right? So basically, uh, um, this Newman tool, it is in sync with the collection runner, right? Whatever functionality we saw in collection runner is also available in the command line. Right. So there is no difference between um, the features of collection runner and the new man tool. The only difference is here you can run it from a command line. There you need to launch Postman and run your collection separately. Right. So that was all about uh, how you can run your test from command line using the new man tool. Um, we'll also see um, some advanced reporting which is available in Newman in later sections. Right. 